This video is about researching film and literature using library search on McIntyre Library's website. It's good to think about the terms that you might look up, such as the author or director's name, the title of the work or an abbreviated version of the title, uh, maybe the character name or char names of several characters. Um, you might also be interested in a particular theme or issue in the work. You might be looking at it from a particular theoretical perspective, like a feminist perspective or a psychoanalytic perspective. And words like treatment or analysis can highlight what other authors are looking at. So like Faulkner treatment might come up with of the family, treatment of the family, for example. So you can get ideas from other people's work. But you don't want to go crazy and use too many terms because you'll exclude many results that way. So for example, using the author, the title, and a variety of keywords is going to be too much. So start out with fewer. Library search is the discovery la layer that we use in McIntyre Library to find books, materials, and films that we own or that are owned in the UW system. You can also find articles from all our databases, as well as articles that aren't held in any databases that we subscribe to. So it's a huge collection of materials. For this demonstration, I'm going to type in an author's name. And with well-known authors, you should expect to see biographies pop up first. And this example is no different. Nathaniel Hawthorne, we see number of books just titled with his name. And when you click on, they say multiple versions. When you click on view four versions or view five versions, you see different editions or copies of the book in different places. Using the back button to go back to our original list, if we look through the list and scroll down, we can see that there are videos, other books. Um, but this is pretty much a broad search, so we'll want to add something additional. So I'm going to type in the name Young Goodman Brown after one of the short stories that Nathaniel Hawthorne wrote, and we'll see what happens when we refine our search that way. So now we have items that are focused on this story. We've got videos, we've got books, scores, a reference entry, and now finally an article, but it's still a hodgepodge of results. To refine further, let's look at the options on the left-hand side. You can refine your results by looking at resource types. Um, there are, you can look at just articles or just reviews, books, dissertations, scores. Um, Audiovisual would be films. Or you can look at topics to see specific topics that are covered in the results. So I'm going to click on Young Goodman Brown in quotes to get those resources that specifically focus on this story as opposed to just mention it. You can also refine by date when the article or book was published, and then you can also refine by author or language. So there's those options for revising your search. Just looking at the first item on this list, um, we can click on details to be able to see um, information about the article. If we click on view it, if it's available, the full text, we get the option to open the source in a new window, and we get an array of choices. They all basically lead to the same thing. Um, and when you get to this screen, you'll see that there's the PDF full text. More information, maybe an abstract. On the right-hand side, you can print or email this article to yourself. Um, so you have a variety of options here. But if we go back and look at the screen, you'll see on the right-hand side, there's also the option to email yourself this citation. So say you're interested in maybe looking at it later, um, you can email yourself um, and it will send you a link that takes you back to this specific article. Now, another thing um, to consider is whether the search is detailed enough. So I'm going to add another word. I'm going to add faith, which is the name of a character, as well as a concept in the story. And when I do that, I'm further refining my search, but any of the um, refinements I did in terms of topic or um, art, uh, or resource type have changed. So I need to go back and put those in place. Um, so 
Then I get a list. Um, one thing to notice is that there's a dissertation in there. Those tend not to be very useful because it's very hard to get a hold of them. Um, so if, if possible, I would skip dissertations in your research. But another thing we've got here is we've got um, a lot of titles coming up that specifically refer to the concept or the lines in the story about faith. One thing to remember is that this database, library search, actually covers a variety of disciplines. So sometimes it's not even a matter of getting within a specific work of an author, but even just getting to literature at all. So for this example, I'm looking up the words Othello treatment. So we could expect things about the treatment of Muslims um, in Othello. Um, but instead, what we get is a list of results that have to do with psychotherapy, uh, neuroscience, and neurology. And so we know that we're quite a bit far off from what we want, so we add in the word Shakespeare to make sure that we're, refi we're refining it down to um, those articles. And we're still going to get a little bit of noise here, but we do see some topics like the treatment of Islam, um, we see things like the construction of human differences. Um, and we can also go ahead and use those options on the left-hand side to further refine this search. And so we can see other options, like um, one was interracial marriage, for example. The last thing I'd like to point out is that sometimes um, when an item isn't available where it doesn't say view it for an article or um, shows that it's available in our library, then what will appear in the holdings, it will say underneath the article title, it will say get it. And this is the way that you either request things from another UW library if it's a book or a film, or you can request the article through interlibrary loan. And you simply click on get it and then it will tell you, you know, what you know, this is not available. And it says sign in for request options. And right over here on the side is the sign in. You just use your user ID and password. And once you've logged in, it will give you a form that you just scroll down to the bottom and click submit. And that submits your ILL request.